Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. <laughs> Interesting piece of news here. <clears throat> and uh, the suspects here are former President Donald Trump and uh, how, what's his name? Kanye West? Yeah? All right. Oh, yay and uh, Trump. They will uh, go and tango together. <laughs> This article comes from Sputnik and it's from today, the 17th of October 2022. This is the title. Trump reportedly spoke with Kanye West. Duo plan to have dinner amid, it says, it says here, anti-Semitism claims. Okay, is that what unites these two guys? I don't think so. So former US President Donald Trump spoke with artist Kanye West, also known as Ye, and made plans to have dinner with the rapper in the future amid criticism of both figures for remarks considered anti-Semitic, Politico said in a report. Well, it's really hard to uh, not be anti-Semitic uh, if you criticize Israel, because if you criticize Israel, all of a sudden you're called anti-Semitic, or if you say, oh, okay, the Jews this or the Jews that, you're anti-Semitic. But if you say Americans this, Americans that, that's okay. If you say Germans did this, Germans that, oh, it's okay. But if you say, you know, the perpetual uh, uh, victims of the world, oh my God, it's anti-Semitic. That's what they ap appear to be. They always cry that they were the victims, everybody, mm -mm -mm, and all that. But if you read the Old Testament, it's kind of like the other way around. Just read it and see how many they, uh, how many towns they, how many virgins they, okay? So, <laughs> uh, and it was all cool. It was everything okay, a-okay then, you know? Uh, all those guys were okay, but when things uh, got a little bit uh, shaky, well, uh, my heart hurts, okay. I was about to say something else. <laughs> so Trump and Ye spoke over the phone on Monday following the latest decisions to purchase social media platform Parler. The report said, citing a person familiar with the call. The decision came after other platforms, including Twitter and Instagram, banned Ye for violating policies on anti-Semitic language. Well, that's very vague, but whatever. I don't care. It's just, uh, you know, uh, they can uh, close you for whatever they think. Uh, you know, you wear this one and this color and they can say, well, guess what? Uh, I don't know, Hitler wore it to something like this so therefore you must you know be a sympathizer or something i can do whatever they want you just stay and take it what are you gonna do how can you fight back with anything take your little toys tick, 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 and go and play in a different uh, playground that's what you're gonna do oh my so um it says the confirmed dinner between trump and Ye has yet to be formally scheduled the report said the two previously met during Trump's presidency to talk about criminal justice reform. Beautiful. Ye yeah, ran against Trump in 2020 U.S. presidential election, uh, garnering over 70,000 votes. Ye yeah, has also stated his intention to run again in 2024. Good for you. Parler, the social media com company said to be acquitted, acquired by uh, Ye, yeah, is currently run by George Farmer, husband of commentator Candace Owens, the report also said last week, Ye yeah, and Owens, both of whom are black, received criticism for wearing some criticism because there were some people who really loved that. Uh, I didn't have any problem with that, to be sure. I said, oh, okay, so well, nothing, move on. What's, what's, so, what's so fantastic about uh, that uh, slogan? Okay, well, yeah, certainly it does. Okay, move on. A white Lives Matter shirt to the Paris Fashion Week. Only people who have really a chip on their shoulder could have a problem, I guess, with this thing. Because it's obvious that uh, uh, all lives matter, being white lives matter, black lives matter, I know, green lives matter, and uh, whatever lives matter, I don't care. Anyway, um, but let me tell you a little story that uh, occurred um, today. Today, uh, I met a friend of mine. Uh, can you believe? Uh, yes, and she is... Uh, black and i have a good relationship with with her well, i would say we're friends but anyway <laughs> so uh, 
had a conversation and asked her about uh, what, what she thinks about uh, yeah <laughs> well uh, she said that he's crazy he's mentally ill and she said that uh, you can tell by uh, the way um, the black commun community look at this kind of people that they are off they are not right in the head if I said okay so uh, if he's not accepted by the black community that means he's crazy she said yeah I said, well, isn't that the kind of like a stereotyping and a kind of racism when you think that a group thinks in a monolithic way about everything? Uh, and then I started showing her a uh, different, uh, a kind of like to aggravate her, to be honest. Uh, but she was, uh, you know, she was, she played along. I showed her some pictures with, uh, 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 what, what was just, uh, I showed him, uh, now it is, it is, uh, the name escape. Jesus Christ. Uh, Candace Owen was one of them and she said that she would beat her up. <laughs> it was funny as hell. And then uh, uh, Jesse Patterson, I think that's what's his name, that uh, black commentator, she didn't know who that was. I showed her Louis Farrakhan, Farrakhan that uh, I have no problem with him. I think he's very intelligent and very sneaky. She did not know, I think I discussed with her before, Louis Farrakhan. Um, I showed him, I, I showed her him. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> oh my God! Um, how I, I showed her uh, another one. She didn't know who the hell they were. I can't remember. Let me think about it. Yeah, uh, it was Larry Elder and Thomas Sowell. I saw I, the Economist and uh, politician, whatever you want to commentator. She didn't know who uh, Thomas Sowell was, and she didn't know who uh, Larry Elder was. <clears throat> but uh, she knew Candace and she said she would beat her up. <laughs> that was it. And uh, uh, Farrakhan, she listened to him one time. I told her a while ago about, about Farrakhan to listen to him. She said, yeah, looks presentable and looks, looks sounds smart. And Kanye West was a, a, a no-no. But that's the way uh, they kind of see things. And I said, well, you guys think, you guys, that's why I ask her. Do you guys all think the same way? And she would, she should have said, you know, uh, because I think she was like, mm, that question was never asked to me um, or of me. She would have said, maybe we think the same way sir, uh, um, regarding certain topics, but she didn't say anything about that. Well, anyway, um, she could, I mean, she talked, it was okay, it was okay. But to see how certain people look at uh, at uh, certain individuals, not that, um, not that um, their ideas are wrong. Uh, if the ideas run against the main narrative of whatever they're fed by whomever, then there must be something wrong with their head. I also asked her if uh, Candace Owens uh, is a traitor because she married a, uh, a white guy and she she was okay with that i guess <laughs> and i don't i don't guess i know she was okay with that so anyway it's just uh this is direct experience and she is not the only one i spoke i spoke with another uh, uh african-american another female regarding the same topic uh, i don't know about maybe a, a year and a half ago maybe more than that and she was she hated trump but uh you know, and she is. She was. She is. She was a leftist. She's still a leftist. And I asked her to um, present. Um, first, I said, "Give me, you know, five, five, um, or three. I think it was three or five qualities that you see in Donald Trump. I mean, because you can all, you always can see qualities in people, even if you don't like them. You can say, you know, they're." You know, um, you know, they stay the course, or they're determined, or even if de their determination is, in your view, uh, misguided, but still you can see that that person is that. She couldn't come up with one, because after I gave her, I can remember, I don't know, 20, 20 seconds or so, because I couldn't stay over there and wait until she was like, uh, I mean, you can come with one. It's not hard. I mean, and I, I said, okay, come with one, at least one. And I said, uh, so she, she couldn't. And I said, don't you think he was a, she is a, a smart guy? Uh, no. Well, what do you mean? He made money. He is a billionaire. He must be good at something. His father gave him the money. Well, it doesn't matter if he gave me $1 million and he, is, he used to worth, I don't know, $14 billion. 
That means it's kind of good. Well, he filed bankruptcy. Yeah, one of his uh, 3,000 companies that he owns. Yeah, it's true. So what's wrong with that? Is he up or is he down? Is he negative or is he positive? He wouldn't even want. So I said, okay, well, <laughs> I think you just, you simply don't want now that you can't, because these are facts that you can't dispute. And obviously I'm just uh, making fun of them, the women especially who don't like Trump, saying you don't like Trump because you were not his first pick. And then the whole hell gets loose. <laughs> Anyway, thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.